Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on wherever you are joining us from. I'm super excited to join you with this session at Azure Cosmos DB Conf this year. I'm Sajidran, Product Manager in the Azure Cosmos DB team, focusing on making the developer experience and integrations better with Azure Cosmos DB. Today, for the next 15 minutes, I will be diving into the process of setting up GraphQL endpoint on Azure Cosmos DB with a quick end-to-end -end demo of how swiftly you can construct an application with just a few steps, which significantly enhances the developer productivity. Please post your questions on the chat. We will take them as we go along. Let's dive in. If you take any modern day cloud architecture that fundamentally consists of three layers, the client app in the form of front ends, it could be a mobile app, web app, or you have a, and you have a backend in the form of database that serves your data. And you have a middleware in the form of API layer that allows your, your front end or any other services to connect and query the data from the databases. And also you can apply the business logic uh, on the data whenever you uh, whenever needed. In the modern day of a API development, GraphQL is becoming quite popular in the recent years and REST has been the de facto standard and it has been existing there for many years. The fundamental fact is that you're going to create a CRUD API or a service that allows front end to basically operate the data that is stored on the database. In general, building an API is quite complex through developer lens. It comes with a lot of factors. First, it, it, it needs to be built correctly, uh, catering different scenarios and also the consumers that you have to take care of. As a developer, you need to uh, consider the factors such as performance, security, monitoring, and so on. With all these factors in mind, we have introduced a service that solves this problem. You don't have to worry about creating a backend for your database. With Data API Builder, you can choose Azure Cosmos DB as a backend that turns the database into a GraphQL endpoint. When you consider modern day applications, one of the latest frameworks mostly adopted by uh, web developers is Jamstack which is an architecture that is fundamentally uh, consists of three concepts that developers use in a daily basis. It finally boils down to three basic principles that developers do on a daily basis, that is JavaScript, APIs, and markup. In case of traditional application, developers write the code and deploy to a server. When the client requests, it gets served. When it comes to Jamstack application, we can think of a single page application with popular frameworks like Angular, React, or Vue.js, in these types of modern applications, when you do a build, what you're going to see is a static content in the form of HTML and CSS. In case of Jamstack apps, the static content is served through CDN, which initially loads the static content in the form of HTML and CSS. Then the data is loaded through the API, which makes things much faster. Jamstack apps in general provides higher performance, better security, and less cost due to its nature. Uh, let's explore more about Data API Builder with Azure Cosmos DB. With Data API Builder for Azure Cosmos DB, you can turn your collections in the database into a graphical endpoint. And for every object that you expose via the Data API Builder, it supports pagination, it supports sorting, it supports filtering, and also even the navigation between the relationship when you are modeling your data in an embedded format. It really gives you the full access to the power of your uh, to use the power of your database using modern endpoint as well as the modern day protocols. You can use the GraphQL endpoint with application built using any language or a framework and can be used in any device or platform. Data API Builder is stateless. Uh, you are free to choose whatever the topo topology that works best for you. It is completely open source and uh, you are welcome to contribute even more. Also, when it comes to the pain points, which I talked about earlier, if you're worried about security, best practices, and performances, we have baked everything uh, in Data API Builder for you. Uh, Data API Builder is instrumented throughout each of its pipelines, so you get all the logging in place through monitoring. It comes with authorization in place, supported with Android and EasyAuth. Also, you can define your custom policies in place. It can be used in two modes. The first mode is you can either use the container image and run it in any environment, whether it's local, whether it's uh, any other cloud environments or even on Azure. You can run it in uh, any container services such as Azure Kubernetes service or Azure container apps and so on. In the second mode, uh, 
we are the azure static web apps deployment uh, you don't have to handle the deployment of uh, data api builder we have tightly integrated static web apps with data api builder in the form of feature named database connections uh, which makes uh, super easy for you to create web apps with database connections using data api builder and deploy your applications in quick time i will be demoing both options in my one using my local environment and the other one using the Azure Static Web Apps integration uh, using an end-to-end uh, app. Let's see how Data API Builder for Azure Cosmos DB works. Data API Builder for Azure Cosmos DB requires two inputs from developer. One is the configuration file and the other one is the schema file. As you might know, Azure Cosmos DB being a schema agnostic database, developer need to provide the schema, uh, which is a common concept in GraphQL. Uh, uh, schema of the collection, which the GraphQL endpoint needs to be exposed. For example, if you want to expose speakers, you have to provide the schema for the speaker's entity, and that could be exposed as a GraphQL endpoint. Once the user provides these two files, uh, the runtime uses these two files as a source of truth, and it will generate a GraphQL endpoint automatically with a single command. I hope that gives you more context about what Data API Builder is. Let's dive into a sample application which I will be demoing. As a developer, I wanted to build the Azure Cosmos DB Conference application in QuickTime. As you might know, Azure Cosmos DB can be consumed uh, free in many ways. In this case, I will be using Data API Builder for Azure Cosmos DB in my local environment and have my data stored in Azure Cosmos DB emulator. Uh, by using the Data API Builder, I will be exposing the speaker's uh, collection as a graphical endpoint so that I can use it in my front-end application. These are the simple steps I will be uh, doing in order to generate the graphical endpoint. Of course, the first step is to install uh, the data API Builder CLI, which is a tool which is the building of the graphical endpoint. It enables you to uh, easily manage the DAP configuration uh, file. You can initialize, you can add entities and uh, update permissions and so on. Once you have the CLI installed, first step is to initialize the configuration file, which can be done via the init command, uh, where you need to pass the database type, in this case, Cosmos DB NoSQL API, and hence you will be using the Cosmos DB uh, in this uh, case as a, a database. Um, next step is to add these entities to the configuration file. In this case, I will be adding the entity speaker um, and then provide the permission as anonymous. So I will be give this endpoint to anyone uh, to consume it. So I will be considering this as anonymous, but in case if you want to protect it, uh, you can have the rule defined and you have the actions defined and then uh, you can restrict it. With that, you should be able to generate the graphical endpoint with um, using the DAP start, you should be able to uh, generate the graphical endpoint and run the graphical endpoint and uh, serve it. You can consume this uh, demo using this URL um, offline as well. Let me jump into the demo using Data API Builder. So as I explained earlier, I have this command executed. Uh, you can see dab init database type Cosmos DB NoSQL API. And then I have provided the schema, schema GQL, which consists of uh, the structure that can be seen in the Cosmos DB emulator. I'm running the emulator locally. And my, edit, uh, and my collection looks like this. And uh, one of the speakers that you can see, it consists of fields like ID name, company, and so on. Uh, I'm going to use a GraphQL endpoint in order to consume this uh, data. Let me switch to the DAP configuration. The second step is to add the speaker as a source. Uh, you can see that I have executed this command. And the third step is to execute DAP start, which will spin up the GraphQL endpoint locally. Um, this should spin the GraphQL endpoint. So if I navigate to this local host GraphQL, uh, you can see the schema reference, uh, which means like what are the uh, endpoints which are automatically generated and what are the operations you, you can perform. Uh, basically, GraphQL comes with a query and mutation operations. So a mutation is similar to post operation that you do with REST. You can create a speaker, delete a speaker, update a speaker, and then you can query the um, object using speaker by partition key, and then you can get all the speakers at once. So this, this is a local development experience. This gives the developer to quickly analyze what are the endpoint uh, that is exposed through this endpoint. Point, and then you can also go through the object scalars and so on. Uh, I have the operations defined. In this case, I'm going to execute uh, get all speakers with ID and name. Let me execute this operation. You can see that 
query is being executed and you can see that result is being fetched so all the data source uh, all the data that is stored as a uh, speaker in the speakers collection is being retrieved this supports pagination as well i will not be diving into those details but you can uh, if you have more data inserted in the cosmos db collection you can use the uh, pagination and then it supports filtering and so on i have done that in my sample application but this is just to demonstrate the fundamental concept the next demo that i wanted to show is using the static web apps integration as i explained earlier you can consume the application um, deployed through static web apps. So I have my source code, which is the Angular application. In this case, um, you can see the same schema, uh, schema file, which I demonstrated locally, which consists of uh, ID, um, uh, name, and fields like that. And then you have the uh, database uh, config file, uh, DAP config file. In this case, you can see, uh, you know, uh, what are the speakers being exposed to. In this case, you can see like what is the database type and what is the schema uh, which is fetched from. And then if you want to um, yeah, enable graphical endpoint, but you can define uh, different paths if you want as well. In this case, I have uh, defined the role as anonymous, but you can restrict um, uh, certain data based on the roles and actions you define uh, if you need it. So I have deployed my application. If I go to my static web apps, uh, this is my static web app, and uh, currently the data is empty in this Angular application. Uh, right now, as you can see, it doesn't display any speakers. But if I go back to Azure Static Web Apps, uh, this is the database connection that I was explaining about. If I go to link existing database, and I will select the database type as Cosmos DB4 NoSQL, um, and resource group is, let me provide the resource group and the resource name is Azure Cosmos DB Conf. Let me select the database type. In this tape, I will use a connection string. I will link it. So once you have the link uh, successfully established, you can view the details. Uh, and if you want to unlink, uh, you can do that from here. Uh, and the configuration file, which is already a exists in the repository, you can see it from here as well, and the schema file. If I go back to my uh, application and if I do a refresh, it should display the speakers. Uh, let's wait for a couple of seconds. Yeah, so within two minutes, I was able to um, build my application uh, using the graphical endpoint, which fetches the data from the speakers collection that I have on the Cosmos DB endpoint. And then I have my Angular application, which connects to the, uh, you know, the D Cosmos DB backend uh, uh, using the static web apps data database connections integrations with Data IP Builder. Basically, uh, you can do filter as I explained uh, earlier on the graphical endpoint. Uh, so basically, if you want to do a, a search session that uses the graphical filter, and then if you want to open a particular speaker, uh, you can click on speaker and then that fundamentally uses the get speaker endpoint uh, that I was talking about. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show in this demo. Uh, so I demonstrated two scenarios. One is using the Cosmos DB emulator as my data source. And then the second is using the um, database connections using Azure Static Web Apps, uh, using the database API, build, uh, data API builder, using the database connection. So, uh, if you want to use graphical endpoint on top of Cosmos DB, you can run it on any environment using Data API Builder as a container. And if you want to use Azure Static Web Apps for your front-end application, you can use Azure Static Web Apps database connections uh, field uh, uh, feature as well. That's all I wanted to show uh, today. Uh, here are the resources that you can go through to get started with Azure Cosmos DB and Data API Builder. Uh, starting, uh, starting with the documentation for Data API Builder that is shared here. Uh, we have a bunch of samples for different frameworks in the Data API Builder sample. Uh, and finally, you can try Azure Cosmos DB for free uh, by navigating to ak.ms try Cosmos. Um, I hope you enjoyed this session and please shoot your questions on the, uh, and if you have any feedbacks. Um, uh, with that, I have come to the end of the session. Thanks for joining in and enjoy the rest of the Azure Cosmos DB conf.